Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the basic uh, concepts on Excel. So working on cells in Excel. So first we'll open the Excel. Just go to the run command and type excel and click on OK. So that we'll get the Excel application will be opened. And here you can observe this uh, workbook. So in the previous session, as I have said that there's a, this is a workbook and in this workbook will be having a different sheets so we can create a different sheets that means we can save the data in a number of sheets so here we'll be having some plus button so just by clicking this plus button we'll be having a different sheets now so as i have said that these are the cells these are the cells and we'll give the data in these cells itself right so each cell will be represented with the help of a column name and a row name so these alphabets are the columns and these alpha these numbers are the rows so there will be a lot of columns if you just keep on moving these columns the selection box so you can observe so there are a lot of columns so for every column there will be a name for every column there will be a name right and similarly there will be a lot of uh, rows right so keep on going so there will be a lot of rows so that means a large amount of data can also be represented simply in this excel sheet okay so we call it as an excel sheet right not a document it's a sheet now if you want to write the data just to select this one and by default everything will be in a read mode read mode okay so if you just type the data automatically that will be inserted that means it will be in a edit mode that will be in a edit mode right so see right so if i want to edit this data just select this one and if you just type any other information so that already existed data will be replaced with this one and if you don't want to replace the existing data if you don't want to just uh, edit this one that means if there is any spelling mistake or if you want to add some more content for this text so just you double click on this cell automatically the cursor will be appeared at the end of the text or else you can observe the content of the selected cell will be appearing in the formula bar so if if we, i am having here some right so if i select this one this cell this cell name is i4 see here you can have the i4 and the content of this cell will be appearing in the formula bar so just to click on the cell and move your cursor to the formula bar click on the formula bar it will be in edit mode and you can edit this one you can edit this one and press enter you can get the updated data here and now now you can see every column will be having a some specified width and every row we are having some specified height so this is the height of the row i mean cell and this is the width of the cell so if if this width if you increase the font see if you increase the font by default it's 11 if you increase the font you can observe by default by default the height of the row will be increased the height of the row will be increased all right and similarly similarly if you increase the font you can observe the width the column width is not changing okay you can observe the column width is not changing the height is itself is changing so in order to change the column width you, can, you need to change it manually you need to change it manually just move your cursor towards the cell and you can observe the arrow marks left arrow and right arrow so just click on this one and just move towards the left so that the width will be increased so towards right so that width will be increased and if you move towards left the width will be decreased okay so you can observe here so now the cell is like this right and one more thing see if i am having some data so i am having some four or five columns
See, like this I am having a some sort of text. You can observe here, select this one, the data is appearing here. If you select this one, okay. And if you select this one, so as our view, there is a Saradi, but here there is no content because this Saradi belongs to this cell itself. So due to the lengthy content, it was displaying here. And if you want to give some marks for these students, let it be, these are the students. If you want to give some marks, I will give some 90, some 80, some 50, some, uh, some 75, some 85, some 65, some 89, uh, some uh, 55, right? Now you can observe, I have given the data for this column also. So, Previously, I have not given the uh, data in this column. Now, I have given some some data in this column. Now, some of the content has been hidden. Okay, some content has been truncated. You can observe here. So, actually, this content is the second name is Sandeep Sarde and third name is Sandeep Sarde Kanteti. So, it, it automatically fitted to this column width. So, by default, as I have said that by default, the width will not be changed unless you change the width. So, just change the width manually or you just double click here automatically it will be fit to the content which is having that length maximum length so among all the names for, for, for example here in this column we are having some uh, eight eight rows eight rows so among these eight rows whatever the row we are having the highest length maximum length so that up to that length the column width will be fixed so see you can observe again so just keep moving with the mouse pointer towards a column name just double click here automatically it will be expanded the column width will be expanded to the maximum length of the content in that particular column so for example below if the content is more see if the content is more Now you can observe if you double click on this one automatically it will be expanded towards the maximum length of the content right. So this is how we can edit the data you can type the data or edit the data. So also see here lot of space is wasted so you can observe here the width of the call width of the cell is more and we are using only two characters we are using only two characters for example. See, total 8 characters, we can fill the 8 characters for this particular cell. But here we are giving only 2 characters, 2 characters or 2 numbers. So what about the remaining 6 numbers, 6 spaces are wasted. So if you go with this one, double click on this, this one, automatically that will be fit to the maximum length. So that can be either number or a text, okay. So it will be auto fit to the content, auto fit to the content. Right now you can observe. So I will give some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And I will give one more numbers A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. So you can observe if I enter the numericals, those numericals are by default they are aligned towards its right of the side cell, right side of the cell. And if you observe the alphabets, those uh, these alphabets are aligned by default left side of the cell. So you can observe this one, right? This is the left side and this is the right side, right? And we can we can change the alignments, no problem. We'll see in the further sessions. There is a, a, a lot of options in the alignments. I will tell you those options in the further sessions, right? So default alignment is if it is a characters, it is a left alignment. If it is a numericals, it will be the right alignment. And if I want to give some numbering, I will give the serial numbers. So let it be, it's a serial number. I just want to give the serial numbers. So I keep on uh, giving the numbers, continuous numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to give the numbers in each and every cell. In each and every cell, I need to give the numbers. Or else, if, the, if these numbers are a continuous numbers, just type two numbers, two consecutive numbers, select those two numbers just click on one cell and drag towards the downwards so that uh, two cells will be selected you can observe the right bottom corner there is a solid square 
solid square just move your cursor towards that solid square so automatically your cursor will change to the solid plus okay once the cursor change to the solid plus click and drag automatically you will get the continuous numbers so you need not give the number for each and every cell if they are continuous numbers just select two cells so give the consecutive numbers two consecutive numbers select the move your cursor towards the right most bottom corner so if your cursor change to the solid plus click and drag okay until you required number you get your required number so at the side of the range you, you can observe the numbers 16 17 18 19 20 so like that you can drag it okay and or else see I am having only nine entries I am having only nine entries and I need to give the numbers for these nine entries now you select the two cells just move your mouse pointer towards the uh, right bottom corner it changes to plus and now here you just give a double click okay you, instead of dragging give the double click automatically the numbers will be fitted to the column right so here nine entries so nine columns are there nine entries and nine columns okay and also you can observe a b so these are the two consecutive alphabets now the, i will i will repeat the same thing so i will select the two cells move your move the cursor towards the right bottom so after uh, this plus appears i will just drag so here you can observe it's we are not getting the alphabets okay we are not getting the consecutive uh, continuous alphabets we are getting the same content we are getting the same content repeated okay if it is a alphabets or a characters it will be the same content and see a1 a2 see you can observe here a1 and a2 now follow the same procedure select two cells move your cursor towards the right bottom and drag here you can observe the continuous numbers that means if our content is having uh, ends with a number if our text or a content ends with a number automatically we'll get the continuous so for example go with this one subject one subject two subject two so I have given some two consecutive numbers. So this content is ends with a numbers, right? Now again, same. Just move your cursor. So automatically, we'll get the continuous numbers. And if there are some default values or default text, like see Sunday, okay? So Sunday automatically. The next one is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Again, Sunday, Monday. So for these type of content. For this type of content, we will get the continuous. If you want to give only alphabets, okay, alphabets or any any text text content, okay. So Monday, Tuesday, these weekdays are uh, default, okay. We weekdays are the defaults, right? So we will get the continuous. But if the if we are trying to apply the same thing for these alphabets, so we'll get the same alphabets will be repeated multiple times okay this is one more thing so and also if you want to count the values so just select the values and at the bottom status bar you will get the count so count is equal to 9 that means there are 9 entries 9 entries okay if you select the numericals if you select the text you will get the count if you select the numericals you can observe in the status bar we'll get a three things average count and sum so average of these numbers is 5 and count is 9 and sum of all these numbers is 45. So you will get a 3 column. right? If it is a content, it is a text without any alpha, any numericals, we will get the count. If these are the values, we will get all these things, average, count and sum. So we need not go with the calculator and just keep on calculating 90 plus 80 plus 50 plus 75. So directly if, if the content is in Excel, you just select the numbers, automatically we will get the sum, average and a count. Right? So hope you understood this one. So these are the basic things 
we need to know before going to the more number of options so how we can work on cells so these are the cells right these are the cells so if you select one cell that is called a cell and if you select a more number of cells that we call it as a range okay so that can be one column or more columns one column or more columns this is called a range and if you select only one cell that is a cell okay if you select more number of cells that that is called as a range range right so these are the basic options we need to know before uh, starting the excel so hope you understood all these basic things so uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this basic working on cells feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much